Hello, it is Sunday the 8th of May 2016. It's evening here in Mauritius and we are to do a short video on a topic which I don't know yet um, on the Galactic Freedom Show, but I'm sure Freda will share that with us. So I'm just welcoming everyone. Thank you. Here we go. I don't know the topic. <laughs> here we go. I don't know where, but we're going. Okay, let me find them. Oh yes, yes, we have another, another, like a guest, uh, a visitor, so... Hello. That's it? Okay. Yeah, she was short and sharp, always. And she never laughs, you know, don't, don't take her too seriously. She's sometimes very serious. It's a subject, topic, title. Okay, first, to congratulate, absolutely. Uh, Michael Moore made an absolutely brilliant movie. His last documentary is 2015, I think, somewhere in September, October, was released. And uh, you can check it pretty much uh, on the Facebook of mine. Uh, you can get the link, so please watch it. And it's called Who Do We Innovate, Who Do we Innovate Next? Brilliant. Last 20 minutes disclose everything where we are what we're doing why we're here and what is the actual solution for all the so-called american problems because the americans lost their american dream <laughs> so i'll let you enjoy this one all right so yes today's uh, quick uh, chat will be about um, I'll just pick one, doesn't matter. Do you still need to incarnate and why you did it so many times until now? Okay? You got it? Yes. Okay, who is first? Who want to talk first? Okay, I first. <laughs> so why did you incarnate? <coughs> We don't need to uh, recognize it. We only need uh, life at once in here because we are pure light, we live as pure light. So when we come to experience, uh, we experience it and then we record our blueprint and we leave. But the problem is dark force don't let us live. They prison us. And life will die, the life will die, the circle on the earth. That is problem. So, that is. Why do we reincarnate? We're not supposed to, that's correct. We see, we should not have to reincarnate because Source gives us a blueprint and we are all. Um, by breaking at a certain frequency and we should have the freedom of being able to reincarnate in other civilizations elsewhere in other galaxies and universes but unfortunately that didn't happen here on earth because the dark forces uh, notice that we are a source of energy they're not connected to source and we are connected to source and um, what is important to know is that um, most extraterrestrials or uh, civilizations outside of a planet Earth, um, the ones that are not created from source, they don't have a soul. And therefore they are totally fascinated with the human creations because we have got that spark of light within our heart centers and they are very excited to abuse and take a slice and use our energy. And um, they totally abuse the situation. As I said yesterday, infiltrated the light forces and then created a situation uh, where they uh, put programs in place to do a mind control game on us and um, got us hooked up in a, a cycle of fake lives where we reincarnate time and time again um, so when we have this perceived death that we experience they've created a, a situation where you 
sort of walk through this tunnel of light and at the end of the tunnel you'll uh, have a choice that you can go back to earth to do to correct all your wrongs and they implemented a system um, where what we call now duality for us to so-called experience um, the good and the bad um, love and hate and all these things and that was definitely not the plan of source source just don't operate in, in any negativity and there are no lessons to be learned with source it is an experience we are to experience life not lessons to be learned so unfortunately uh, most of humanity are caught up in this cycle and uh, they reincarnate because of uh, a false light that was created we call it the light of the darkness and that light they stole from humanity um, through these controlling programs and um, we are now trapped in that cycle but thank goodness to source that comes around every 2000 years for us to, to do our ascension where we can be saved and for us to actually call back all the lost particles the lost bits of light that was abused by the extraterrestrials or dark forces in other civilizations or in other worlds um, to actually command your spirit to collect those lost particles and light for you to become whole again a hundred percent to um, spirit essence for you to be able to experience life in other universes and galaxies and that's in short why we were reincarnated or we trapped in that cycle thank you Petra. it's your turn thank you Okay, so let me just read one more time. Okay. Question was do you still need to incarnate? It will be probably your choice. Probably I say, because the many situations that in previous lives that you actually experienced, you never thought that you have a choice to live at any particular moment. So, ascension as such, that everybody's talking about, is very much related with this decision of yours. What and how to achieve it. Not through meditations, not to karmic cleansings, not to, you know, being on service to all the world, being a, a savior, being a martyr, being a whatever they taught you that you have to be to eventually ascend go to the first level second level whatever third waves absolute nonsense maybe this exists in some of the timelines but there are very confusing details very confusing because we've been tricked so deeply that living a uh, mortal life will give you a definite uh, source of ascension for next life and then in next one you get another layer turn the pages oh you have to achieve this so maybe in the next one you'll uh, achieve ascension and on and on and it goes for thousands honestly some of us hundreds of thousands of times so really solution at this particular moment just choose that you actually worthy for ascension as soon as you're worthy to have ascension you'll start hearing the creation within your heart and when you start hearing creation inside of you you're actually on the way towards a full ascension you don't have to wait for the third or 72 you know million waves that will come and swipe the earth and clean the bad ones and the bad ones whoever they are or whoever you are you think you are you still can ascend but there's a little trick you have to realize who to ask you have to realize where to look you have to realize why do you want to ascend at all maybe you just want to live like this lazy, comfortable, sick, getting old, okay? 
So, from your perspective, what is the ascension? Stop incarnations? Stop dying? Yes, but how to stop dying? To stop dying, you have to start living. Okay, but another question. How to stop living? How to start living? Is absolutely take your every single moment as the most precious one. Because there is nothing else exists. Whoever is on the path towards ascension, they know this. There is nothing else beyond this particular moment. So, there is no planning, there is no future events that will save you, there is no aliens will come and save you, there is no bad aliens anymore here who are actually keeping you trapped. But you have to choose not to be a bad alien or not to be in the possession of the bad aliens. Yes, there is a bad and good ones or whatever you want to specify them or characterize them. But the ascension will not come from the aliens. It will come from you, within you, in your full connection with the Source. So why did we have so many times incarnations here? Why people do so many times always the same thing, same thing and same thing? And every time when they do the same thing, expecting a little bit different result, but they still do the same thing. So something has to happen within you to realize that now you start doing a bit different and you will really experience a different result. And this different is absolutely start living in the moment. Start dropping all your previous, let's call it judgments or uh, timeline uh, uh, diagnostics that who was what in the future, in the past life, what you have to do to karmically cleanse yourself. Go to Creation Lightship on the wrong website. You can find a free uh, healing sessions. Absolutely brilliant. He called them barcodes. In last 2000 years, you have stamped on your butt thousands and thousands of different barcodes that it's actually always piece of you is missing. And every time they clone you, they take you smaller. They take you smaller. So you become a, a little, tiny little spark. I mean, you're still a spark. But realize when the time comes that you have to be choosing. You really want to ascend or you want to incarnate again and again like another hundred thousand times. It'll be a very short period of now in the particular moment when this happens. You will know. So please choose to live in now. Please choose your own heart rather than multiply your thoughts by millions in your head. Okay, is anybody else would like to say something? I, I see something. <coughs>